Welcome back to the watch list. We're watching Tilray stock. It's on the move today after the cannabis company reported its earnings for the quarter. I want to get some more details on cannabis stocks overall. Alan Brockstein's with us, managing partner in New Cannabis Ventures, and Andrew Hussiker, founder of Dope CFO Certified Advisors. Thank you both for being with us. So, Andrew, I'll start with you. Um, what did we learn or get exactly what we expected from Tilray's earnings report this morning? Yes, yeah, so they're actually seeing some positive signs. Um, we've seen some growth in revenue. They have a very strong liquidity position, about half a billion dollars in cash and securities, number one in market share. Um, more importantly to me, great management team. Some of the others do not have such a strong management team. That's a biggie for me. And then I really like that they have gotten in the last year into non-cannabis distribution and particularly craft breweries. That's going to be huge when cannabis legalization occurs. They're going to have a the infrastructure in place to immediately bring out um, can cannabis infused uh, beverage products. And it also gives them that um, diversification while cannabis, we all know is very bumpy road right now. Um, the craft brew market isn't, they're the number five um, craft brew, craft brewery in the US right now. So they're not just a cannabis company. And that's part of it. I mean, whether or not it's gonna be a pure play or cannabis end. Um, your thoughts, Alan? Well, uh, it's nice to meet you, Andrew. I agreed with only the part that you said about they're not just a cannabis company. Agreed. And uh, <laughs> everything else you said, I'm going to take the other side of. I, I, I don't think it was a good quarter. I think their stock's very overvalued. I think they have a terrible balance sheet. And I have shared publicly a target of below a dollar. And the, the stock went down today. I, I think that the cannabis numbers... Uh, were not that much better than expected on the revenue, but they were weak on the uh, adjusted, uh, the gross margin and the adjusted earnings. Um, overall, the company, you know, they seemed to hit their numbers and they just reiterated their adjusted EBITDA for the year, which uh, I, I don't think that's so great. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. If Tilray is not a winner and, and you're not happy with this report, Alan, is there a name that you do like quickly? Uh, not one. There are three names that I share with my subscribers and I'll share with you that I have in my model portfolio. I actually trimmed Kronos Group. It's the one I like the least. It was up today. And the two that I like the most are Village Farms and Organogram, my favorite cannabis stock overall. So that's the answer. Village Farms and Organograms. Andrew, I know you're familiar with all things cannabis. Um, what are your thoughts on some of those names or any others that we should be keeping an eye on in the, in the midst of what's going on with the federal banking regulations, which could actually be favorable for this group? Yeah, and so let me make a couple of points on that first. And Alan, um, nice to meet you as well. And I will definitely defer to you. You you follow the public markets way more than I. I'm more I'm more closely aligned with the private and smaller cannabis companies. First off, my thoughts, any bet in the public markets in cannabis, about half that bet is on full legalization. I don't care which company you buy. Um, I'm a big believer that's going to happen. The question is how bumpy and how long it's going to take, whether it's we're going to get there through reclassification or descheduling, um, even better. The Safer Banking Act, like you've got up here right now, passed the Senate. So we're a little bit closer. That said, uh, we all know our Congress is in utter disarray right now. Um, I don't think anyone has a crystal ball. I'm hopeful the Safer Banking Act will pass, but I'm not going to tell anyone it will pass or not. Um, and if you are going to put a little bit of money in the cannabis public sector, yeah, I would follow people like Alan that really track it closely, be super careful. I know in an earlier show, I said, hey, you could throw some dollars into True Leave. I would retract that at this point for certain. Um, their management team has gone through all all kinds of chaos um, with their CFO. I think they went through two CFOs recently and they have a very young CFO right this second. So just be very careful. Um, and, and it's going to be a bumpy road on cannabis one way or another. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and Alan, thank you also um, for some of the names that you did recommend so people could check those out if they would like to. Um, in the meantime, we know shareholders in cannabis have been hit really hard. They've been waiting a long time to see some profits, and those stocks have been hit. Alan Brockstein, Andrew Hunsicker, thank you both so very much. Wonderful to speak with you both.